here we are, here we are, here we are. Kind of hot. Oh, I got this thing on. Hold on. I can't explain this to you. See my new hat? <laughs> oh, man, I got to explain this to you. This is a hot one. This is my buff thing I got in uh, South Africa. You know, and I use it as a mask now, too, but this is extremely hot. I have another one that I brought up. You see it another time, but I'm not going to wear this anymore, really. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Look what I got. Wait a second. Let me tell you what I got. I got the brother's information. Let me tell you what I got. Let me tell you what I got. Okay, okay, okay. See, let me tell you. It's an old man's hat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like I'm not like the young boys. When I say young boys, you know, would like like you know the Russell Simmonses and the Jay Zs. You know, they'd be like 55. You know, almost 60 years old, wearing baseball caps. You know, still put them in the back like that. Oh no, no, I'm not coming down. And, hey, yo, you wear what you want. I mean, that's I understand. You started wearing that. This is phenomenal. Let me tell you what happened. This is phenomenal. And they say that what you wear, like for instance, you might see a guy with a skinny tie. Right, everybody said, what's going on? Because back then when skinny ties were in, that was the best moment of his life. And so he was really, you know, relating to that. You know, whatever. they So consider those baseball caps is that they relive in their, in their 20s and 30s where they hit and, you know. <clears throat> okay, let me not cut I'm, 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 I am not criticizing. You know? I can't criticize. You know why? Buddy just got this himself. You know, I got this down in, in Virginia, too. And I got the original copy in, in, in South Africa. See the compensatory guide here. It says, I cannot criticize. <laughs> I can criticize, but yeah, I can't really talk about other brothers and what they do. You know what I mean? So you uh you boys that are doing what you do, go ahead and do it. But let me tell you what I got here. I was jonesing for some sea moss. You said, but brother. You're not a, you're not an addictive type, you know. What I mean, you never get. I mean, in fact, even your little strict things, what you do, you you go and oh, sorry, you go and you you know you, you you do stuff, you know. What I mean, you don't really put this on the thing like that. I guess I can't lick my hands with this. Put it on this paper here. You know, you're not an addictive personality. You know, in fact, sometimes you you be doing stuff, and then you know, like you say, oh, I've been through doing these pills too long, so you just stop. <laughs> For a while, let your body catch up, because my theory is basically your body knows what it wants. And say you kick started with some uh, supplement, you know what I mean? Say uh, right now, you know we're on the, um, uh, what do you call that? The uh, uh, what am I taking? You know the vitamin D. I try to take, make sure you take your calcium and vitamin D. And so at some particular point, I said, ah, that's enough of that. My body got to deal with this. And I, I don't like the plastic. Well, it's a plastic cup. I put it in a glass. Let's taste it. I know you're saying, well, brother, you tasting it. What is it? Okay, glad you asked. Okay, let's take my brush off. It's, it's, they call it, they call it, well, sea moss. They call it sea moss. Shake this in. Why can't they do it here? Okay. Got kitchen moss, carrots, beets. Beets, hence the color. Okay. Uh, cashew nut. Oh, well, I guess cash, whatever. Bee pollen, cinnamon. Taste that cinnamon. All in almond milk. Then I like, I got this chocolate protein thing. I'm just, I'm sorry. They said, maybe I should, cacao, no, I want chocolate. Chocolate protein thing I put in there. That's what this is. Mmm. I don't know, sometimes I just don't for the sea moss. But I got packages. Let me put it this way. I've been around, man. Today, I've, man, it's, okay, I just got back up to New York. But I had to do something, you know, I had to get my death certificate with my brother. What change I had to go through? When I first left, I go, oh, just come on down. I came down there, the building's closed, you know, blah, blah. I had to go, let me show you, man. I had to actually, I didn't even know, but anyway, I actually, actually had to go and um, I had to call this detective that, 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 that found my brother with my sister and all that. I just told him something like so. So when I got there, they wouldn't give it to me. They said, hey, you got to get it over. So anyway, I had to call the detective up, right? They know an official police stationery. He had to write something. You know, he signed it. You know, I could go on Detective Damon. Shout out to Detective Damon. Anyway, so right, then I take this to the place, and they let me in so I can get the death certificate of my brother. There you go. You know something I didn't know? Guess what? Well, that's, that's the death certificate. I got a birth certificate in here, but I had to bring the birth I had to bring stuff up. 
know, just in case they would question me, but all the stuff I brought up was wrong. I didn't know, but my mother's middle name, I guess I knew this way back when I was Marie. That just means nothing to you, right? Except that my first love of my life, the sister that really jacked me up. If you want to know why I'm the way I am, because that girl at 14 years old, she cursed me, and, you know, I ain't been, you know, ever since. Her name was Renee Jeanette Fairley. That's fine, okay? But the second woman, girl, with you, because it, it was about 20, right? Time, something like that. What's the name? No, I was 22, 23. 22, 23. I was in the Air Force. By that time, my, my, my marriage to my wife was like, I, I wasn't having it, you know? And what this was, not thing with this girlfriend, it was magic how we met. I'm going to tell you, her name was Bernadette Marie Clark. Woo, both these women, you know, they, they were like perfect couples kind of thing. There's a third one, but uh, but the third one, oh man, I don't want to get into In fact, I can't remember her name. You know why? Because she did me so bad, I erased it from my memory. Just, just the way I am. Luckily, I have my current wife. She's cool, you know. Just what the spirits ordered. Anyway, back to the point. So I got stuff. I got stuff. Anyway, so, so well, you have to go through changes now to do stuff in New York. I'm telling you, man, everything is locked down. In fact, I was down there. I was going to a train station. And then this whole big occupied thing up there. I, I'll post up. I, I did an interview. You, you, if you see it, you see. If you don't, you don't. But I got mail that was sent here. First mail. Let's look. First, I got my urban ears. You know, with the headphones, but I don't have to be tethered. To thing this will happen. this will be good in uh, St. Louis. So I bring that St. Louis with me. But look, look what I got. Looky here, looky here, looky here. Bingo! Booyah! Oh yeah! Bitcoin and Black America. Hey, you gotta start a new system. That's the way to do it. Let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> I was I, I, look. I watch Matt Kaiser all the time, so I've been watching him since uh, 2014. So I know all about Bitcoin. But around about that time, my research group in Dumbaza, they had some questions about the Bitcoin. Like that. So I said, ah. now if you're in charge of research group, you can't just see it. So I'm not into money, nothing like that. So I said, okay, the first thing you got to do is get a Bitcoin wallet. Boom. So I had everybody get a Bitcoin. Not everybody. Everybody was into get a Bitcoin wallet. So I got a Bitcoin wallet. Then I put a little bit of money into. It, so I said, just. I ain't been paid. I don't know what's going on with that. Right, so they did that. So that's how I knew about Bitcoin, right? And so it's like a research and we can see what's happening with that. So I got that book. What else do I got here? What's, what's this? Oh. Hey, let's see, because I ordered some other books too. So let's see. Man, what's going on here, man? I don't know nothing about no boxes. Ah. Uh, anyways, I hope you all are keeping yourself well because COVID's still happening. It's funny. I was in <laughs> Virginia, went to the store to get some. Um, uh, what I was going to get? Uh, uh, Jamaican so it's, uh, Anyways, you got the Pakistanis money. It's blue. It's Jamaican so it's Jamaican food. Let's put it that way. So I got uh, I got the jerk chicken. I got greens, greens, collard greens, um, uh, yams, and um, and uh, rice and peas. Right. And with the, <laughs> but in this store. Ain't nobody was masking. Ain't nobody was so sure. This is it. I mean, it's so much that about 15, okay, maybe I exaggerate. 10 people, right? Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Anyway, people behind the counter serving the food, they ain't masked up or nothing like that. Because, you know, black people, we think that we, you know, like, I don't know what we think. Oh, yeah, okay. I got the Sandy Darity book. Da 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 A T O S. Research. So I got this book. I don't know, but I might bring it with me to St. Louis. I might not. I, I, I don't think I will. I'm not really sure. Now, what's this book here? What the hell? Oh, it's a book. It is a book. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. See, because I don't live here, I have some stuff goes to my sister's house in Virginia, but uh, this is my brother Buddy's house, you know. Oh, okay, another book. I can tell I write books. Booyah! This is the next book on the ATOS Breaking Brown reading assignment due we got the end of July. And this is what's going with me to St. Louis. 
ding 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 That's it. Immigration and the Remaking of Black America by Todd G. Hamilton, forward by Douglas S. Massey. So that's the reading assignment for July. I'm also reading a bunch of other stuff, you know, I gotta read the book, you know, whatever. So that's it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the Darity book I'm not gonna take with me. I, I, in fact, I'm, I might look, they have a great library in St. Louis. A great library. So what I might do there is just uh, get, in, you know, if I, uh, whatever. I might be, be in St. Louis for two or three months, I think. Because I got, oh, I know what I'm going to do now. You know, I was thinking, what can I do? Oh, man, oh, man, you can't go ahead. Demonstra There's a demonstration down, like I said, down City Hall, you know, down here. I was passing by. Like I said, I posted up. Now, you know, it's like, it's like I call it, uh, I call it Occupy 3.0, you know. And um, I'll talk about this some other time. So it's quite good. They're camping out, let's put it that way. You know, the whole thing, Black Lives Matter. They have everything, including reparations. I didn't, I didn't see any stuff. I just, I had to leave, you know. Anyway. Mm. So I'll keep you posted everything that happens in my little life because you know this. I'll, t I'll tell you another time of what this channel is all about if you don't know already. All right. Okay. So you take care. Be well. Just know that it's just me, T, from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>